So now we're going to continue with the arithmetic operators in the Java programming language. So most programs perform arithmetic calculations. The arithmetic operators are pretty much addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and the remainder. We are going to go here in the this this is the previous example that we were working on it. So we have the addition. Um, this is the operator, the the plus sign, the subtraction is the minus sign, multiplication is the asterisk, division is the forward slash, and the remainder is the percent sign. So let's check it out the the addition in algebraic expression as well as Java expression. And it'll be like a plus b. That would be an algebraic as well as Java expression, okay? And subtraction we have pretty much the same, so a minus b like that now in multiplication we will have something like a multiply algebraic expression would be a multiply by b like that but in java we will have a asterisk b that it means a is being multiplied by b now subtraction we have a divided by b that would be an algebraic expression okay as well as in java expression now in the remainder so we have the a mod like that b but in java we will do the a percent sign so you have to do the percent sign b and that will be the remainder okay so let's have some examples um, and you can read here this is from the oracle website so you have this and yeah you can we're gonna see these examples later on okay now the integer division yields an integer quotient for example the expression let's say seven divided by four evaluates to one so it's gonna evaluate to one why because seven divided by four well, if you do it like that, 7 divided by 4 is technically, well, it's 1.75. But, again, integer division yields an integer quotient. So, this is going to evaluate to 1. As well as the example 17 divided by 4 or 5 is going to evaluate to, it's going to evaluate to 3. But, technically, it's going to be 3.4. But again, it's going to evaluate to 3 because any fractional part in integer division is simply discarded or truncated. No rounding occurs. Java provides the remainder operator. So the remainder operator. So this is the remainder operator. The percent sign. Okay. Which yields the remainder after division. The expression. For example, we will have something like a b a percent sign b yields the remainder after after a is being divided is divided by b. So we can do something like like that seven uh, divided by four again it's going to give us one seventy five. But if we do the remainder it's going to be like this 7 divided by 4 and let me see okay so again it's going to yield as 3 okay 7 uh, remainder or percent sign 4 yields 3 and yeah because 7 uh, when you divide 7 by 4 is going to be 1 but the re the remainder is going to be 3 I mean if you do it your division manually because if you multiply by 2 it's going to be 8 so it's going to be higher okay so another example we're going to have 17 divided so 17 divided by let me see by 5 so 17 divided by 5 is going to be a 3 3 multiplied by 5 is 15 so the remainder is going to be 2 okay so the remainder is going to be 2 so when I apply 17 percent sign 
uh, 5 the remainder is gonna be 2 okay and you can do it like that to just maybe I don't know space it out a little bit so I think that this is cleaner so this is how we use the, the remainder the percent sign okay this operator is most commonly used with integer operands but can also be used with other arithmetic types okay so now let me see uh, and we can see some examples so let me check it out something real quick arithmetic expressions in a straight line form arithmetic expressions in java must be written in a straight line form as we are doing it like this so we are doing in a strain form now as fractions and uh, well I cannot do it here but if we go to Microsoft Word we can do it in kind of like a, in a vertical way so arithmetic expressions in Java must be written in a straight line form to facilitate entering programs into the computer thus expressions such as a divided by b must be written as a divided by b as you can see here so that all constant variables and operators appear in a straight line. The following algebraic notation uh, is generally uh, this is the one that is accepted. Then we have parentheses for grouping uh, sub expressions. So we are going to check out some parentheses. For example, we have this parentheses here. Uh, let me see. We have it's going to be we we're going to have here a plus or multiply and here we are gonna have b plus c so we have a multiply the sum of b and c okay so parentheses are used to group terms in java expressions in the same manner as in algebraic expression okay for example to multiply at times the quantity bc we write it as in this and this in this comment so let's put that whole thing so it can be a comment like that and let me just do it like that or you can just do it uh, let me see i think it was like this yeah no let me like that okay so now if we have nested parentheses so we have a parentheses inside of a parentheses so it's going to be a plus b and this is going to be multiply multiply by c okay okay so let's say we have something like that and we can close this one okay so pretty much the expression and the innermost set of parentheses a plus b is evaluated first so and then we have some rules of operator presence java applies the operators in arithmetic expressions in a precise sequence determined by the rules of operator precedence which are generally the same as those follow in algebra so pretty much multiplication division and the remainder operations are applied first if an expression contains several such operations that apply from left to right multiplication division and remainder operators have the same level of precedence now we have addition subtraction addition and subtraction operations are applied next if the if an expression contains several such operations the operators are applied from left to right addition and subtraction operators have the same level of precedence these rules enable Java to apply operators in the correct order. When we say that the operators are applied from left to right, we are referring to their associative associativity. Okay. And let me see, we have the again the asterisk is the multiplication evaluated first if there are several operators in this type, division, okay, and the remainder addition subtraction evaluated next if there are several operators of this type evaluated from left to right and then we have the final one that would be the this one the assignment operator that will be evaluated last